servicing the 80% uh, furnace. First thing you're going to do, go to the thermostat, turn all the way up. Uh, now this is in the same room, so obviously the inducer just came on. You always turn the thermostat up as high as we go. Okay, once you get to the appliance, find out wherever the filter is. Remove the filter. This one's just on the side. Uh, check and see if it's clean. First thing. Okay, when you get in the basement, the furnace should be running because you turned your thermostat up. Now this one here, the inducer's coming on. Now this is the time you take that front cover off here. Don't take the bottom cover off. Leave it on. And this is the time Watch. the way it works. Uh, now you can s barely see that little glow right over there. That's a hot surface igniter. Now did you notice those burners? One lit and then there was a uh, hesitation and the others lit. That's not real good. Uh, possibility there's a flame spreader problem in these things where the flame is not passing from one burner to the other we had a hot surface igniter right here so it's going to pass like this one pass to this one pass to this one uh, but you're looking at that and you're listening for noises in this blower they're unusual planks and bongs and stuff now the inducer or the uh, blower just started and now you're looking for changes in the burner, and I'm going to get you a little closer. With your burners on, you're going to be looking for when the fan starts. You want to be sure there's no change in that burner. The burner flame stays just the same. This you can see, this one here's got problems because the uh, it has cracked heat exchangers, so the flames are coming out the front. You want to make sure nothing like that's happening. Uh, if there's something like that's happening, stop the service right then and start inspecting that heat exchanger. Don't go any farther. There's no sense of going any farther if you got problems like that. Okay, we fired this thing off. It seemed to work okay. I didn't get any odd noises out of the inducer, didn't get any odd noises out of the blower assembly. And let's say we did not have a bad heat exchanger in this thing, that the, the burners uh, perform normally. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fire it up. And we're going to check the various safeties and controls to be sure they're in good operating condition. And I'll begin that in the next video.